So in today's video, we're going to go into the preferences and I'm just going to make a few little tweaks, a few little changes to make hopefully the game experience a little bit better for you in terms of how quick it goes and also a few nice little graphical tweaks. All right, guys, smash a like on today's video. If I have missed anything, there was one that I missed out on last year's video that I have put into this year's video. So by all means, let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we do is actually give our manager a face. As you can see, there he is. That was my Sir Alex Ferguson um, avatar that football managers decided to put together. It looks horrendous. Obviously, this is the main skin for FM23. However, for FM23, you do get bigger faces in different skins. So this will definitely stand out more. And as you can see, it looks absolutely horrendous. So we need to change that. So here we go to preferences. General. Scroll down to the bottom. Change profile picture. Press select, head into your pictures, scroll down so you can see something that you like. So this was the original picture that I used for the avatar. Press confirm. Okay, boom, there is Sir Alex Ferguson now in the game. Now, obviously, this picture was a rectangle. Ideally, get it a square. There is also, if you Google, I will put a link down in the description, actually, if you want to get rid of backgrounds and stuff to make it a bit more of a PNG format, similar to what the players are. Just like that, I will put a link down in the description so you can remove backgrounds on your faces or any other managerial faces. All right, that's an easy one. Let's go and have a look now at this screen in particular. It is the home screen, the team screen. Now, without changing skins, everything I'm doing today is with the general football manager skin. The next thing is that we want to make the screen a little bit bigger. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the words out of this sidebar. So, obviously, back into preferences, interface. And then right here, side icons only, tick it, press confirm. And there you go. It's opened out the screen, made the screen a lot bigger. Now for me, I'm playing on a 19, 20 by 1080 screen, full game mode, no windowed mode. But I just think on 100% zoom, it is a little bit too, there's too many gaps. I think a few things could be made a little bit bigger. So what I want you to do, see if this works for you. It's not for everybody. However, people do often ask, how do I get my skin and things looking the way they are? And one of the changes that I do make, little tweaks, is back in preferences, football manager. Obviously, there's the full screen, 1920 by 1080. And all I'm going to do is just move that up to zoom 110%. Not the 125. By all means, try the 125. However, for me, this just makes a nice little impact into the game in terms of making it just that little bit bigger and at the same time, not making it too cluttered. Okay, and there you go. It's not a huge change, but I think it's a noticeable change. It does fill out the screen a little bit better. It makes them player icons. If you're getting the badges and the logos and stuff like that, it does make it a lot bigger. It fills out these screens as well. Just makes things a little bit more, more noticeable. I'm lucky because I play on a 27-inch screen. However, you boys and girls, that's all like playing on your laptops. You're looking at maximum, what, 17 inches? Okay, makes a bit of a difference. So I suggest you go and just up the zoom just a little. Okay, the next little one, we're just going to look at more of this player profile screen. And in particular, two things. We're going to look at the attribute colors and we're also going to look at these panels right here. Okay, so first of all, for me, I don't think these colors, because green and yellow are pretty similar, and obviously the gray and the dark gray in the attribute screen are pretty similar, we're going to change these and pop, make it pop a little bit more. All right, so you're going to go obviously back into your preferences. I want you to type in the word skin, and right here, skin colors. Into skin colors, I want you to make these changes. So for excellent attribute, for me, this is entirely up to you. I suppose if you're doing a lower league save, what you could do is make, you know, an excellent attribute in the Vanarama National League is maybe a 12. So you could adjust these accordingly to suit your save. For me, I always regard 15 as a good number if I'm looking for a player in a particular position and I want a goal scorer, composure, finishing, etc. I'm happy at 15, to be honest. So my excellent attribute, I'm going to change that to 15. Now this bit here, I'm going to make it just pop a little bit more. Okay, as you can see, Green and yellow, pretty similar. And then average and low attribute look like pretty much identical in the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave excellent where it is because it's a nice bright green. We're going to change the good attribute to blue. We're going to leave the average attribute at white. And then we're going to turn the low attribute to red, just like that. Okay, now for me, you can also change these as well. Average threshold is six. You can knock these down a little bit more, but I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to press confirm. And there we go. Once you've pressed confirm skin, this screen now appears. Changes are different. You may not agree with the color coding that I have done, but it is in the game for you to change and for you to edit and make it look exactly how you want. For me, I've been doing this for about three or four years now, so I'm used to these colors and they just make it pop 
to me, a little bit better than the bog standard FM skin colours. Okay, another little one is if you've got a custom skin once again, these panels will often change, all right? So you may want to have a different thing loaded up here. For example, you may want something different here. So you'll go on the tab, you'll press contract, you'll move on to another, you'll maybe play a game, you'll go onto another screen and come back and it's all reset. So to make sure that they stay as you want, you head into your preferences again and right here, automatically override custom panels, tick that off, press confirm. All right, once you've pressed confirm, now with your custom skin, these panels should stay as you want and not always reset to the bog standard one that the skin has set. Okay, so those are a few changes. Just, I think, to make the game just look a little bit better, either with the custom skin or with the bog standard football manager skin. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is just make a few tweaks in preferences just to make the game move a little bit faster. Okay, so there's two main things that we're gonna look at. Head into the interface part of the preferences. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom of the screen and these two little things down at the bottom. I would suggest increase duration of processing breaks for fewer stops. That basically means when you press continue, so the processing will take longer. However, there'll be less amount of them. However, the main one that we wanna look at is this one right here. In the, under the processing part, continue game timeout. Choose the period of time before the game will automatically continue. Now it's currently automatically set at disabled. What I would do and what I play is I play on 10 seconds. That basically means that if you leave the game, maybe you're watching another FM track video, maybe you're watching a stream, something else on a mo another monitor, you're not really 100% focused in the game, that will mean after 10 seconds the game will automatically click continue. Now it's different from going on holiday where basically your assistant manager takes over and it clicks through everything. This is a little bit different. It will continue to process and click every 10 seconds up until the point where you need to do something. So just have a look, I tell you, just to make it a little bit shorter, let's put it onto five seconds, press confirm. So this is hopefully just gonna make your games experience just a little bit quicker. Sometimes you could be watching something else and not fully concentrate and then you've still got to click through. And I think this is a nice little way of, if you're not micromanaging every little part of every single day in your save and you just want to deal with the big bit, this little tool is ideal. Okay, so as you can see now, the continue screen is going three, two, one, and then it processes automatically. And as you can see, once again, there's nothing of note. The games continue. We've got a game now actually against Crystal Palace. So it's gonna move onto the correct screen up until the point that it wants me to do something. Okay, so now it's saying tactical screen. So we're gonna to get to the point now, team selection, nothing that needs to be done in this part. And then right here, we can't, the, the clock has now stopped because it wants me to do something. It will not start a game without you. Okay, so a nice little tip just to make the game a little bit faster. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. I hope these little changes just improve. We're not talking massive changes, but if it gets an extra five, 10% quicker in terms of your gameplay, in terms of making the game just look a little bit nicer for you, a little bit clearer with the zoom and the skin color changes, then hopefully the whole game experience will improve for you for FM23. All right, guys, thanks for watching.